and some of the needs that animals have are a lot like human needs. And um, there's the three A's I talk about affection, acknowledgement, and attention. And that all humans and living uh, creatures thrive on those as far as, you know, domestic wise, I don't know about wild ones. Come from the heart, not from the head. And that's what's wrong with sex here on the planet Earth. It's coming from the head, not the heart. It also needs to come from the heart on. Keep that in mind. <laughs> <laughs> She'll love you for it. Oh my God. Uh, do you have any idea? I was looking forward to some really nice, strong 40 year old something Woody. And I got disappointed. And then he. He was wearing those shitty condoms and they, I know it wasn't his intention, but oh my God, it hurt. It was awful. Oh, so girls, if soon, if it goes in and it stings immediately, just, just do the timeout thing and let them know and be honest. And that was my weakness, you know? And because of that, um, I, I, I ran for the hills. But also here's this deal. He didn't tell me until that night. Why do you work up a hot woman prom promising her sex after being pouty about it? Because I'd be like, hey, I didn't realize I was gonna stay over tonight when I helped them move in. I helped them move in. He didn't have much, but I helped him carry his bed, <laughs> his, his boxes, whatever bags he had. It didn't take very long, three hours tops. And, um, This place is cute, it's tiny. It's gonna serve the purpose of him living in a cheap place so that he can pursue his dream of becoming a pilot, you know? I have an uncle that flies, he flew in the army. I don't know that much about it, but he has an interesting book. So there can be a book plug for my, my uncle below here, William Herrick. Um, and so, I haven't read it. He didn't send me a copy when I have to ask for it. I'm not paying for it. I'm the starving artist here. <laughs> He's got plenty of money. And that's when I realized, oh, I did it again. A guy with mommy issues. <laughs> oh, young man. Oh my God, he was so embarrassed and he lacked experience and the sex was awful because he used a condom that had teeth on it. Ah. Back back up to get the story. I tell it. Just, just go to my channel and look and look back and you'll and you like go, oh my God, that poor woman. <laughs> he insisted I wear a condom. And I was like, dude, you never told me I had to wear a condom. You've been pressuring me to have sex. This is how you pressure me. And that's when I realized, oh, I did it again. Oh, a guy with mommy issues. <laughs> so anyway, <laughs> Woo! it was like a close call. And I'm so glad we never actually exchanged juices because semen's bonding. Oh my God, he was so embarrassed and he lacked experience and the sex was awful because he used a condom that had teeth on it. You know, if that guy hadn't been so uptight, he could have ensnared me with his bad intentions. <laughs> yes, the life of a pet sitter. I really got to know these guys and I really enjoyed them. Every animal has a different personality and you just learn how to adapt your style to theirs and Everybody gets along, it's a symbiotic. It's a wonderful relationship. And uh, may you uh, enjoy your little furry creatures and the people in your life who have them. <laughs> Pets are not to be underrated at all. They're a lot of fun. And you learn a lot about yourself, including how to be in the moment. 
And remember to give the three A's, attention, acknowledgement, and affection to animals and humans alike. So lots of love, more later, uh, life is good.